Nothing like seeing Dan the man bring out the broom to start off the baseball season. Head coach Machinus like what he saw as well, including areas needed to improve for his baseball sycamores. Well, I, I think a, a little bit of every area we were exposed, I, I think our hitters will tell you that maybe they got him a time or two, but they made adjustments and, and pitched with certain patterns that got guys out. And, uh, I think from the standpoint of pitching, you know, they did some things well offensively. We had a hitter go 10 for 11 against us. and um, But, you know, a lot of times in a weekend, you, you may not see everything, but you see enough to know that we do have areas to improve, and our guys know that. Um, we, we had a decent weekend. I think uh, in terms of being absolutely exposed in any one area, I can't say that we were, but we definitely have areas we need to improve upon. Indiana State hit 302 on the weekend as a team, winning each of their games by at least five runs. But there were many times during the course of the three games where the momentum, which was on Indiana State's side, could have easily swung the other way. I think the best test of how, how much control you had of a game is how you feel as a coach when you're in that sixth, seventh inning with a three or four run lead. And I can tell you, um, Coach Tiggs and I talking about the pitching down the stretch, we weren't very comfortable. Um, down the stretch pitching to those guys because there were there were probably two or three times in each game where the game could have gone a different way. Um, but it, it just felt like one of those weekends where when we needed to make a pitch, we made it. When we needed to make a defensive play, we made it. When we needed a big at bad and big two out hit, we, we got it. Um, so we were fortunate this weekend that those things worked in our favor. That's not always the case. Uh, but I just felt like when we when we needed a play this weekend, someone someone stepped up and, and made that play. Sycamores have barely been outside this spring, which is why this weekend, despite weather not looking like it will cooperate in Wilmington, North Carolina, just being able to get outside and play games is huge for the Sycamores. I'm looking at the, the weather, I'm a little concerned. I mean, this time of year, you want to get back on the field. You want to get back on the field. I mean, last weekend was great, but we want to get, we gotta get back on the field this weekend. We gotta play and we gotta continue to improve some areas. So. I think that's number one, just getting back out there, getting more reps. Uh, still trying to figure out how we're going to line up ultimately. You know, this is not an easy club to make a lineup for. Uh, but it's, it's a good problem, not a bad problem by any means. So I think just getting guys more reps in game, uh, getting a feel of what guys are going to do. Because the other thing that starts to happen now is the dreaded scouting report. And at our level, you have to be able to play through a scouting report. And so everybody that, uh, is out there that will play in the future has got the opportunity now to go out and pull up the video and see last weekend's games and how they're going to attack our hitters, how they're going to attack our pitchers. So now people begin to have something to really game plan by, and that's we, we've got to be able to, to play through that scouting report and make the adjustments necessary to have continued success, not just one weekend. Tomorrow, Indiana State will head out to UNC Wilmington, and we will spotlight a reliever who is already making major strides from a year ago in Jake Ridgeway. For more on Sycamore baseball, stay right here at GoSycamores.com.